Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com, and today I've got something new to show you guys, a new upgrade to our Vruzen 18650 battery building kits. Now just a refresher, we started with, you'll remember these clear caps, this was the first edition of our kit over uh, about eight months ago or so. Uh, we always listen to the suggestions and the feedback you guys give us, and so one of the things we heard the most was you wanted color-coded caps, because here it's, it's harder to see which end is positive and negative. So our first upgrade about uh, four or five months ago was to make these color-coded caps. But that was basically the only change, was to uh, change the color of the polymer. But now we've gone back and we've listened to even more feedback you guys have given us, which we really appreciate, and we've made many new upgrades to the kit. So now I want to show you guys some of the new things that we've done. These are the new caps here, and first of all, what you'll see is these look different. So if we compare these to the old caps, the first thing you'll see is, if I can get these apart, uh, the dovetails are quite different. The dovetails on the new uh, caps are bigger, they're more pronounced. What we've done is we've basically gone back to the mold and we've made a new mold with higher tolerances. This way we've got much sharper edges on these dovetails and these caps just slide together much, much easier than the old caps d ever did. And so now it's just, it's even easier to build with these caps and they just slide together real nice and easy. The next thing we did was we actually increased the wall thickness of the cap just a little bit. Uh, one of the issues that we had with a few people that had emailed us, they said that when they used some of the fatter 18650 cells, because 18, 18650 cells don't actually uh, measure 18 millimeters in diameter, they're usually between 18.2 to 18.5 millimeters. But what they said is when they used some of the fatter ones, if the cell went in at a bit of an angle, it would sometimes uh, crack out the side of the cap. And so uh, anyone who emailed us that had this problem, you know, we 100% uh, refunded or replaced the kit with this new version we just rolled out. Um, we'll obviously always stand behind the product, but we wanted to go back and change the mold a bit. So now these have just a little bit uh, thicker of a sidewall. They also have a slightly thicker top, and that makes this nice smooth top here. Um, and we've actually changed the polymer material as well. So we changed the polymer to one that's both stronger, and it has just a little bit more stretch to it. So that way, these are just going to be much more robust, much more resilient caps. Uh, one other thing that we did was we extended the height of the cap just a little bit. And what this does is, is it allows you to get more bus bars on here. So for the old caps, you could definitely get three bus bars, but it sort of depended. That was about the max. Uh, the other thing was we had the logo on the top of the cap, and that limited a little bit just how much uh, you could put on top of the cap. But with these new uh, caps, you can fit, I think, at least five. Here's one, two, three, four. Here's five bus bars. You might be able to get six, but let's try a five here. Yeah, see, five fits just, you know, no problem at all. And then you can uh, crank that sucker down if you don't cross-thread it like I did. There we go. So there's five. And you can just super easily... I think we had room to spare there. So you can fit a lot more bus bars on here, uh, and it just opens up more options for how you want to build your batteries, or if you want to add uh, thicker series connections for more current, that sort of thing. So we're really excited about this new version of the kit. Um, you know, it's just, it's smoother, it's cleaner looking, the mold has higher tolerances, and it just works even better than before. So these are now live on our website. You can um, already find these on Vruzen.com. And if you're outside of North America, you can go to Vruzen.com slash international dash orders, and that will give you an order form to order these anywhere in the world. Um, this is, we're calling this our V1.5 kit. This isn't the, the V2 kit, the second version that we're developing, which if you guys have been following us for any amount of time, you know we're working on a higher current version. Um, we're really close on that one. I think we're less than a month away. Uh, we've had a couple of production hiccups, just uh, making sure that we get the production steps down exactly, uh, exactly the way we want them and we won't have any problems down the road, but we're very close. Um, you know, I've been working with the, um, with the production prototypes so far, and I'm really impressed with how they're working. Um, I don't know if I should pull them out just yet because, you know, we're not ready to offer these, but, um, you know, I mean, I guess I could show you the, the prototypes. I mean, there's, yeah, there's no harm. All right, so I'm, wait here, I'm going to go get the prototypes. All right, let me show you what we're working with here. So here are uh, the new caps, and basically... It uses the same, um, the same mold for the outer cap, so it's going to be this new upgraded cap design. You know, it's a little bit taller, it can fit more bus bars, it's got the nicer dovetails, it's smoother, higher tolerances, interlocks better. But we're working with 
copper-based connectors. So if you come in here for the close shot, here you can see these are our new connectors. Um, and they aren't like our old connectors. You'll see these are copper alloy based. And so these are going to be capable, capable of much higher current. And uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, nickel plate these. So I've got a few here that already have the, um, uh, the nickel plating on the copper alloy uh, spring. And also we're using the same copper alloy for the uh, threaded terminals here. Uh, one of the production hiccups we're working on right now is the best way to uh, connect the threaded terminal to the contact. Uh, on these ones so far we've been using silver brazing, which works really well. It's a little more time consuming. We are also looking at doing uh, medium frequency spot welding. You can't use a normal spot welder on uh, copper or copper alloys. It's not going to work. So uh, we're looking at using a, a much higher quality, much more um, robust uh, medium frequency spot welder that should be able to do um, this connection here. So these will either be medium frequency spot welded or they will be uh, brazed with uh, silver brazing. Um, you might already know this, but silver is the only um, metal that has higher conductivity than copper. So these should be capable of very high currents. Um, oh, we're also working with, uh, you know, the bus bars are going to be the same exact thing. So unlike the old bus bars, um, that were stainless. These bus bars are going to be that same copper alloy and then all of this is going to be nickel coated because we don't want this corroding over time. You know, copper is obviously going to uh, corrode and develop that patina. So all of these um, copper alloy parts are going to be nickel plated to make sure they stand up to corrosion and they stand up over time. But that copper is going to be what uh, adds that extra, um, you know, current capacity. In the tests that I've been doing so far, we've been slowly increasing the current on these to see how much they can handle. I've gotten up to about 12 or 13 amps so far, and the uh, caps are working great. So I, I don't know how much uh, we're going to be able to rate these for current in the end, um, but so far we know they're working well at, at 12 or 13 amps continuous uh, discharge. So you know, hopefully we're going to be able to push them and they'll keep, uh, keep performing even better. So I don't have a final number for you guys yet, but so far results are very promising on uh, the V2 kits. And once we get the, uh, the last couple things worked out, uh, including the uh, making sure this joint is the best possible joint we can get here, we're gonna have these available for you guys. I know I'm getting emails like every day asking when are the V2s coming, when are the V2s coming? Um, it seems like there's lots of, uh, there's lots of interest, especially in the e-bike and the uh, electric skateboard communities where you guys need high power and small numbers of parallel groups. So we're working really hard on this. We're really excited with uh, you know, how far we've come so far, and I think we're very close to getting these out there. All right, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, last thing, the, uh, to announce the uh, winner of the book giveaway. So the winner from last week's video was... BAS Rider. Congratulations. Send me a private message here on YouTube. Let me know uh, which book you'd like, either my DIY solar power book, DIY lithium batteries, or the ultimate do-it-yourself e-bike guide, and uh, let me know where to send it, and I will send you a free copy of my book. And anybody else who wants to win a free copy of one of my books, all you have to do is put a comment on this video, and next week I will randomly select a commenter, and you will be the winner of one of these books. And if you don't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.